Nobody wins when the family feels. You know what I'm saying? Come together and get some money. It's forever stuck. Right, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You see, always, like, everybody, you know, they told like niggas to die behind this shit. I ain't no coming together behind this shit, people. Yeah. yeah. Yo, I don't know what with OTG with him. And the EBG listen, man. I'm here with me and my guy, man. We on Dip TV. Me and Lil D really live, we rap. Me and Lil D really live, we rap. We be dissing until they get. And Kamali was asleep, so she brought Jermaine in the house or whatever. She brought Jermaine in the house. Yeah, cause you told so, me he brought. She brought yeah, him in the house when I was on the phone. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Remember? So she telling, she telling Jermaine that AOB over there at Clay Mahone. Oh my goodness! Where you going? Home. Where's home? Home. The place where I. Told someone take me home. In Memphis. One of the most disrespectful groups is called EBG. EBG stands for a beloved member of theirs who passed away in 2015. Another EBG member called EBG said has disappeared since the last week of 2022. His dad is offered a 15K reward for his son whereabouts. And we made this request via Facebook post with a caption. I got a $15,000 reward out for his whereabouts lead to his findings. Don't come on here playing, playing when it's not a game. So today on this video, we're going to try to spread awareness on this young man and also talk about the public image that he put on and his rap persona in Memphis and also the group he aligned himself with and see if there's some public feuds going on with others and also some few going in within the clique. But first, remember, family, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And we're going to jump right to it. EBG. A member named EBG E. Jizzle is about to briefly tell you what EBG stands for himself. Made it from Memphis. What rappers that made it from this side up? <laughs> nobody. Nobody. God is Will Seal. You hear me? Yeah. Like, rapper chick in that hood and shit. We don't see God. Yeah. Word. So, but he ain't no problem with it. You ain't never reached out or nothing? Nah. Nah, I seen a nigga at the airport a couple times. This is it, Yeah. What that EBG stand for, man? A lot of niggas don't know. And it seems as if though EBG got public tension with everybody in Memphis. See, I don't know if you guys remember, but CEO Jizzle, who's also a part of PRE, well, he go by Rich and Ruthless, who's also the group of the late Big Scar. Well, months before CEO Jizzle allegedly took Lil Amigo chain from CMG Heavy Camp, it seems as if though he was in a mall where well, he called out EBG members. Even having a biggest artist, EBG E Jizzle, having a public feud. With the Memphis only, Pooh Shiesty and CEO 30. EBG E Jizzle even going so much as shooting a music video in Pooh Shiesty Hood, Crane Creek Apartments, even while he incarcerated, which was up to another level as he used the remix to CEO 30 Free Shice Life on his latest project. But it seemed as if though EBG been having turmoil within their own camp as well. Around seven months ago, two people from EBG had lost their life only a week apart. One of those individuals was a guy named Rob Money. He ended up losing his life on camera at a gas station slash convenience store. Some say this was a backdoor situation. And this how. It was in Memphis, Tennessee on June 12, 2022 at around 1.35 a.m. And Memphis police officers have responded to 766 Jackson Avenue in reference to a shooting. Officers located the victim, Terrence Burke, a.k.a. Rob Money. And the reason they say it was a setup is because people knew why his car was running, didn't steal nothing from him, but they waited till he got into the convenience store to take him out. Now, in the fact that they say the surveillance had captured the silver Fosha wagon and pulled into the lot, one black male suspect wearing black hat, blue hoodie, and black pants, black and white shoes, and gloves, exited out the passenger side and entered into the business and shot the victim. As of now, that crime is still unsolved. But a week later, another EBG member had ended up losing his life. And some say that was get back for raw money. But this one, it was EBG E. Jizzle's best friend, EBG Jeremy Lin. And some say that females was used to set Jeremy Lin up. 
which was all recorded on a phone conversation right after his demise, even before the news had indicated that Jeremy Lin was end up deceased. Hell. Okay, so, Eric, me, Jasper, and Kamali was asleep, so she brought Jeremy Lin in the house or whatever. She brought Jeremy Lin in the house. Yeah, because you told so, me he brought, she brought yeah, him in the yeah, house so and I was on the phone. Remember? Yes, yeah. remember, so, she telling, she telling Jeremy Lin that A.O.B. over there in Clay, if he died, what's gonna happen to song? And Jeremy, I'm gonna be up there with my mama and my mom, boy. So I'm like, come on, I left out the room, remember? I left out the room, like, I don't work. So Jayla walked in outside, and I don't know what happened for that. All I know, police come knocking on the door, and they like, they like, uh, who I was in the hood? So they still got, they, they let me in, can I go? They still got Jayla, cause Jayla got something to do. She not locked up, but they, they, she's still down there. She got something to do with it, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, oh, she, my God. Listen, what? Listen, what? Listen, listen, listen. Tony showed me pictures of Tomorrow that killed his mind. Why would they wait till she go in the house to kill his mind? Why would they wait? She said they're mine. Oh. Y'all around, cause y'all might give me it. I'm assuming the girl released and recorded that because she didn't want to be implemented and setting Jeremy Lin up in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Now, with all that going on in their clique, within the same year, just six months later, since the passing of Jeremy Lin, it seems as if, though, that EBG said can't be accounted for. After several days of not reporting to his family, Memphis would issue a city watch for the 18-year-old. It was stated that Cedric Perry, a.k.a. EBG said, was last seen wearing a green and white hoodie with blue sweatpants. As you can see above, EBG said was also a rapper in Memphis. But apparently all this happened right before Christmas. Because on December 23rd, 2022, said mom will go to Facebook and quote, y'all just don't know how much I miss him. Please, somebody, if y'all know anything, contact us. After approaching a month and no word on the whereabouts of said, it seemed as if though his father would do another plea to Facebook and issuing a 15K reward for anybody for his whereabouts. Now, I'm going to play a recent interview that was only weeks before the disappearance of CEO said. But before we do that, family, it's important that we know this. Yes, it is a young adult who don't know the whereabouts of foster parents. But as you can see, the whole story leading up to this is to show that publicly, he was doing things that lead up to two destinations. And we all know what that is. So let's check out the video. First off, I just want to know that I'm saying, let these folks know where you're from. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. I'm no admit, man. Smoke City to be exact. That's so fire. Growing up, Smoke City. Like, like, how was it? You know what I'm saying? Alright, growing up, Smoke City. You gotta make the best of it. Alright, say no more. Well, before we get to anything, bro, we all know that y'all just lost like two members of the gang. Oh, uh, I had two of those members on my last interview with uh, EBG Jizzle, you know what I'm saying? I had two of those members on the couch, you know what I'm saying? And both of them gone. There's one Rob Money. There's one Jeremy Lin. Um, with that, with that, you know what I'm saying, happen. We're going to talk about Rob Money first. Um, when y'all got the new... So fast, like, we was just together. I went home, like, you know how we separate. So I'm finna get in the bed and just lay down. You know, sometimes you had that feeling knowing the hear me. Oh, yeah. Like, who do, who do? I was like, you can't do nothing about this shit. You know? Shit had to bring her up. Shout out Dip TV. I don't want to spoil it. It's over a 30 minute interview. If you guys want to check it out, I advise y'all go over there and go do so. But fam, as of now, there's been no word over our money. But when you have so much beef, you never know where it's coming from. But that was the story of the Memphis father putting up a 15K reward for the whereabouts of his Memphis son that's been going on for almost a month now. Let me know how you guys feel about this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch y'all on the next one.